What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Lockdown 23 and 1. And today, ladies and gentlemen, I got some news stories coming your way from California. All right, California Department of Corrections is going absolutely batshit crazy, man. I ain't gonna lie. They started the year off with a bang, for real. Like, I mean, every day just about since it <laughs> turned 2020, there's been an article on my phone about inmate taking another inmate's life. And look, Y'all know, a lot of people uh, know how California runs, and for anyone that doesn't know, uh, I haven't done time in California, I've done time on the East Coast, but one thing I've noticed is that California and, you know, uh, like New Mexico or Arizona, places like that, but most definitely California, a lot of these uh, inmate-on-inmate murders, I mean, they're just about all planned. You know what I mean? They're all planned. They're all orchestrated by someone else up top. And the majority of the stories I'm bringing your way about these uh, inmates that lost their lives in California Department of Corrections, uh, I believe all of them except for one story, it was done by AB. You know, the AB is very strong in California. And, you know, I got a few people that talk to me monthly for, uh, like, prison coaching, life coaching, they're about to be going to prison like a guy uh, I was talking to yesterday. He's facing 3 to 12 years for moving a lot of weight, a lot of weight. Okay, so I was giving him some information and stuff like that. I said, look, man, over there, because he's on the West Coast, I said, man, over there, uh, you know, they're going to segregate you. They're going to uh, not segregate you, but they're going to put you either, you know, they're going to put you with the white guys. First thing smoking. He said he went to county for about a week. And first, you know, as soon as he walked through the gate, a group of AB cats came, grabbed his mat, and placed him in a cell that he was supposed to go to. So the inmates placed him in the cell that he's supposed to be in. <laughs> I told him, I said, look, man, at least you got some white guys that come up over there and, and hold you down. Over here in Virginia, they just throw you in there, man. And the white guy, black guy, it don't matter. That ain't nobody rocking with your ass until you prove something. You know what I mean? So it's kind of crazy how... Uh, you can just step foot in a block and a group of white guys will come pick your mat up and, and show you where you're supposed to be living. But anyway, that's, that's how it all happened for him in the county. He said he didn't have too many problems at all. Uh, I told him, I said, look, man, it just you just have to be careful, man. Be careful within your own kind, you know, because a lot of these stories I'm bringing your way today is white guys attacking white guys, you know. Uh, cleaning house or they just fell out of favor with the uh, gang it, or they just had bad charges you know but this guy doesn't have bad charges so you ain't gotta worry about that but at the same time you gotta be aware of the people that are supposed to be looking out for you man a lot of these cats that are making the news for their lives being lost is because of someone from within their own race Big piece of advice to anybody that might be getting locked in California. Hey, look, don't trust no one, not even your fellow white guy. But I gave him a lot of good information uh, that I've gleaned from other people's stories uh, coming from the West Coast. I've been doing this for about two years, so I've learned quite a bit when it came to the system out there. Uh, but still, it's nothing like actually doing it. You know? So there's only so much I could tell you. Only so much I can tell you. But if you're something like that, hey, and you, you're out on bond and you might need some intel on where you're going or just need some kind of coaching, some uh, wise words of advice, hit me up on Patreon, man. Story number one. Ladies and gentlemen, story number one. Rodney J. DeLong had seven months to go on his nine-year stretch. Seven months, ladies and gentlemen, on his nine-year stretch. The very damn end shit's crazy delong 28 was a six foot 140 pound inmate serving nine years from placer county on a 2014 conviction for burglary possession of controlled substance and assault with a deadly weapon as part of the prison cells cell compaction process that don't even make no damn cell, cell compaction process i've never even heard of that term my whole life. I think they just made this bullshit up. Cell compaction process DeLong was moved at 12.30 p.m. that day to cell Z-171. Excuse me. Z-161. Where he was to share a cell with Robert John Stockton. 
Stockton now 42 was serving life term for a murder. He was accused of killing another inmate, Doug Maynard, in October 2016 in a bid to win membership in the Aryan Brotherhood prison gang. I mean, he was serving a life term, so I guess that's his life. I mean, yeah, you know, if you're gonna do it, do it up, right? That's how they think, man. You got life, and you're part of an organization, and prison is your life. Man, you're gonna go all out. You know, you have nothing to lose. That's your life. If, you're, if, if that's your life, then might as well become a superstar at it, right? That's probably how he's thinking. Sooner or later, they'll probably end up turning on his ass. Even after putting in all this work, sooner or later, he might... Life, ladies and gentlemen, that's life, okay? So, sooner or later, he's probably going to fall out of favor with the gang, man. Just, it's just what I, From what I've read and seen, man, it's so easy to get tricked up. Even after you done put in your damn work, got your rank up, showed your love and loyalty to the gang, man. Something might just happen where you'll fall out of favor and you didn't even do it. But that's unbelievable that him and someone else took a bid to win a membership in the Aryan Brotherhood prison gang. By the time correctional staff reached cell Z161, they found Stockton blocked the door of the cell. A lawsuit filed in federal court in Sacramento says when Stockton moved, officers could see DeLong lying in a pool of blood from his torso to his head. Stockton dropped a prison manufactured weapon out the food port in the cell door. DeLong was then pronounced dead at 1.02 p.m. Never should have been placed in the Lacon County cell with Stockton, according to the lawsuit filed by his mother. Look, anyone that right mind should never house someone that has nine months left with someone that has life. Definitely messed up. That's definitely something that I've been showing y'all, you know, since I've been doing this channel. They don't give a shit. If you have a certain level, okay, if you have a certain level, it doesn't matter if you're about to go home or not. They'll throw you in there with a lifer. I mean, my first cellmate, no, he didn't have life. He didn't have life, but damn sure might as well have. He done killed someone in prison, got 20 years added to his sentence. That was my first damn cellmate, you know? Why are you throwing me in there, even though he turned out to be a really cool cat? Uh... Still, why are you throwing me in there for, man? You know, like, it doesn't matter if you got a certain level. I mean, they don't give a shit if you're about to go home or not, man. You know, that's just how it is. Which is messed up. If you got under a year, you shouldn't even be in any kind of dangerous facility. If you ask me, they should throw you straight to a level one, regardless of what you've done in prison. You got less than a year left. Throw them in a level one facility. Next, Folsom, California. California State Prison, Sacramento inmate died Monday after two other inmates attacked him in one of the prison yards. The California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation says around 2.45 p.m., Joshua Dunn and Stephen Dunkhurst attacked another inmate in general population yard. Two inmate manufactured weapons were later found at the scene, ladies and gentlemen. When the two attackers refused to get down, officers used pepper spray and blast grenades against him, according to the CDCR. And that's one thing I don't understand. Well, yes, I hear in the higher levels, they don't pop gas, they pop live rounds, okay? You, you, you get, in, get into some kind of altercations in some places, they're just gonna shoot your ass, you know? So that just goes to show you that it's definitely probably a lower level if all they're doing is popping some gas. Uh, the victim of the attack was taken to the prisoner's Central Health Services building where the CDCR says he died around 3.25 p.m. That's less than an hour from when the incident happened. That means they did some serious damage to the dude to pass away less than an hour uh, after the incident. Dunn and Dunkhurst have been relocated into a segregated housing where the Sacramento County District Attorney's Office helps with the CSP and SAC's homicide investigations. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Rehabilitation Center. It sounds safe, sounds like a nice little program, nice little uh, sunny beach resort if you gotta go to prison, but I guess it's not, huh? Damn. Now check it out, that guy from the first story, Stockton, that stabbed uh, the, the guy that had, what was it, seven months left or nine months, something like that. This Stockton guy, I mean, he was put, he's been putting in some damn work, man. Listen to this. After Stockton allegedly stabbed Maynard to death at High Desert Prison Yard, that's not the guy that I just told you about him stabbing to death. So not only did he stab the guy to death previously, but they still threw the guy in there that had seven months 
left into the cell with this guy Stockton. You know, I hate to double back, but more stories that I'm about to tell you kind of link all together. I mean, this is the AB, so they're all linked and a lot of them are planned. It's 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 crazy as hell, man. Uh, but this guy Stockton, he's been putting in work. Check it out. A confidential informant described as an ex-member of Sacramaniac's prison gang told federal prosecutors that Corbett hired Stockton for the hits because he did not like him. Corbett is another guy that's just a part of the whole organization or whatever, but Corbett hired Stockton for the hits because he did not like him. The idea, according to the informant, was to kill two birds with one stone, get rid of Maynard while ensuring Stockton would be removed from the prison housing unit. So that guy used him. He used him to kill the guy Maynard, and then uh, the guy Corbett used uh, Stockton to kill Maynard, and then he killed two birds with one stone by knowing just because he didn't like him, he was going to be shipped off the compound. Isn't that crazy as hell? That's a dirty ass game. That Corbett dude, he played all them fools like a fiddle, man. Someone lost his life. He didn't even have to shed no blood himself. Okay, he just called a shot. And he got, he removed the guy that he didn't even like, you know. So this guy's probably committing all these crimes and then just because the dude don't like him. But really, he probably thinks he's actually, you know, putting on for his unit. You know what I mean? This shit's crazy as hell, man. You gotta look within your own people ladies and gentlemen i'm telling you it's a dirty game dirty game and this story right here ladies and gentlemen susanville once again two inmates killed a third inmate at state prison in northeast california officials said tuesday prison employees said they saw jose r castello and victor m zepian attack richard prieto in an exercise yard at high desert prison in susanville monday afternoon remind me to stay far away from high desert penitentiary Correctional officers stopped the assault by firing warning shot and chemical agents, but Prieto was pronounced dead soon thereafter of puncture wounds to the chest, back, head, neck, state correctional officials said. Prieto, 44, was serving a 22-year sentence for attempted second-degree murder. Castillo, 26, was sentenced in Sonoma County to six years for assault with a deadly weapon on a first responder, an additional six years for possessing a deadly weapon weapon by a prisoner ladies and gentlemen okay so check it out the guy with the long hair castillo he was only serving six years and then he got six years added to his sentence for just having a shank a homemade weapon six years added to his sentence for that okay of course he's gonna feel like shit and he's gonna put in some more he ain't gonna give two shits about putting in work after he just got his boots smoked for just having a damn weapon. Do these prison officials or guards understand how important it is to have a shank in some establishments, man? Like, if you don't have one, you're gonna die. And I don't think the staff understands this shit. And that's what I've been telling people, man. Yeah, you, look. Uh, this is another piece of advice I gave the guy the other day, man. Uh, he's, I said, man, look, whatever happens... If you happen to have to defend yourself, do not take the man's life. Try to do something. Try to, you know, do what you got to do to the point where you ain't going to take his life. And the reason why I say that is because, you know, a lot of these guys that get caught stabbing someone, you know, you can almost guarantee that they go into courtroom and say that they're defending themselves uh, from that guy attacking him first. The judge doesn't care if you defended yourself or not. All he cares about is you had a weapon in prison, you took the man's life, or you stabbed the guy, either or, okay? You're gonna get your damn boots smoked whether or not you are protecting your cheeks or not. Isn't that shit crazy? You have the right out here on the streets to defend yourself at all costs if your life is at risk, correct? Well, why the hell can't you do it in prison when that place is much more dangerous than your average freaking neighborhood out here in the streets? I don't get it, and I think uh, prisons need to really understand that the guards ain't protecting us, so we have to protect ourselves, man. You know? There's no way the guards can sit there and protect you 24-7. There's no way. Okay? Especially in these prisons in California and stuff like that. Man, look. I mean, there's dirty shit going on everywhere. Like, uh, the story, I, the first story I told you, that guy, man, he was going home. He should never went in that cell. And he had a beef. Oh, I forgot to tell you, he had a beef with AB. 
He had a beef with the AB, and on his file it said never to be housed with the AB. But guess what? They threw him in there with the Aryan Brotherhood, man. You know, 30 minutes later, he's dead. So, shit's crazy, man. There's a lot of dirty things going on. You never know if the inmates had ties with the CO that magically popped him in his cell. No one would even know. You know, no one knows this. Like I said, there's this gray area of prison that nobody will ever know. No one will ever know, man. And there ain't nothing you can do about it because... I mean, it's like, it, it's, it's a secret organization in my eyes, prison. It's very secretive, man. What happens behind those walls, I'd say only 30% of it comes to the light, you know? There's a huge gray area there that nobody will ever see or know, you know? Especially in places like California where everyone's kind of connected, you know? But, <clears throat> I mean, ladies and gentlemen, if these stories don't deter you, from going to prison, let alone going to prison in California. I don't know what will, man. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Do not forget to hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell. We drop content like this every day, so hit the all button for the notifications. Check out the links in the description of the video. Add me up on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, my Patreon, ladies and gentlemen. If you need promoting or one-on-one -on -one prison coaching, Check out my Patreon, my Etsy page for all your handcrafted artwork. And as always, my Teespring page, Lockdown 23 and 1 merchandise. Go rock the gear and support the channel. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, I salute every last one. You've been supporting me since the beginning and everybody who's just now joining the Lockdown Compound. Y'all be easy, be safe, and stay free, my friend.